Hi everyone and welcome back to our FPS RPG Chapter 3 series. In this series we've been going over the inventory menu system and we set up mostly the components so far. Um, so I'm going to do two things in this episode. We're going to cover a little bug that we missed out in the previous episodes and move on and start showing how to get this tied into our user interface. So the first thing is that bug. So we're going to go into our inventory system and look at the component we have there. And the thing I forgot to add in was after we, uh, on, sorry, this is on the add to stack function. And it's before we set the array element. Now at the moment, this is just setting the quantity with the local quantity remaining together as the inventory array here. However, that's not the case. What we need to do is clamp this value so it doesn't go above 99 because we're getting a 99 remainder here. So from this value, we're going to clamp and you'll do maximum here of 99 and then you just plug that into your new quantity like so. So pretty simple uh, and easy fix. So that's that fix done for our inventory component. We're going to close that and start moving on to the next task. So I want my menu, if I just bring it up now, I want my menu here to change camera position when I click on one of these. So when I go to inventory, the camera will change to a different position around this character, showcasing like the back for backpack, uh, skills and so forth. Okay, so it will change things as we go. So let's take a look at how we do this with using the inventory. So first of all, let's go into our menu world. I'm just gonna turn that on. And in here, we just want to add in our um, second camera because at the moment we just got this one camera here looking at this character here so let's get rid of dummy let's put dummy into the test world here uh, to move a character by the way to the world if you just select the world and the dummy in this case right click on the level and you'll see uh, move selected actors to level so when I hide it it goes away so we've got this camera here and this is the default one that we're looking through when we go into our menu uh, what I want to do is do a different camera and change that position when I click on the button in the menu tab so for this we're gonna make another camera so I'm just gonna duplicate this by holding down alt uh, oh sorry I'm in the wrong world there we go uh, unhide level and paste now I do um, Let's just get that other camera out and I'm just going to add this to our menu world. So move the set that to level and hide our test world. There we go. So now I just want to position this into where I want it to be. And I said I want this one to be like on his back pretty much. And I want to bring that in and let's change the field of view a little bit and get that zoomed in a little bit. And let's just rotate this. There we go. I kind of like that. So once you've got your camera set up where you want it to be, I'm just going to rename it as to location, uh, not location, um, inventory, sorry, camera. And the other one I'm going to rename as well as main, or do character camera, because that's the first tab you go on to by default. So the character camera and you've got the inventory camera. So now let's go to our level blueprint. So go up the top, blueprints, sub levels and edit menu. And this is what we had previously, which chose it to look at the camp this character camera in the controller. And now we've got the menu widget stored here. So what I want to do is I want to create an event dispatcher to detect when we click on that inventory tab. So let's go to our widget for our menu. And go to its graph and I'm going to scroll down on the left hand side to find the event dispatchers. I'll click on new event dispatcher and we'll call this one as a uh, tab changed. And this one's going to have one input. So with it selected, go down here to the bottom details and see inputs. Click on new input. And this one would be string. And uh, not string. Uh, this would, sorry. This would be camera name. And 
that will go to a string and hit compile so now we want to find the on clicked for inventory which is here I'm going to drag event dispatchers out and do a call and what event dispatcher will do is basically shout out to anything that's been told to listen to it and react accordingly so let's just do the actual shouting part which is this call I'm going to type in the name here as inventory hit compile so if I go back now to my level blueprint in the menu here I'm going to take the player menu option out from this set or I can do it from the variable list either way it doesn't matter and then from there we're going to bind event to tab changed and plug that in then we want to take this event binding drag this down and do a custom event and this custom event we could call tab changed or do a camera change I guess camera change and the camera name is what we want to do a switch on so drag this out and do switch on string and this will be where we put the various cameras so at the moment we've only got uh, two we've got the character and we've got the inventory so add two pins and you've got case zero case one and then go to the right hand side you'll see the pin options and you can open this up and for case zero we'll do character and case one we'll do inventory and from there we'll now do our camera changing so to do the camera changing it's very similar to what you see here set view target with blend so i'm going to take this and paste it over here let's just do inventory first and the new view target is going to be that reference to this camera here so make sure you've got it selected and go into your menu level blueprint right click and create a reference to your inventory camera this will be plugged into your set view target with blend and then you want to put in a time for how long you want to blend to and this will give you that transition if you want to cut you can leave it to zero but if you want to transition between one camera and the next type in a time value here so i'm going to do a 0.5 so i want it quite snappy um but that will do and whilst we're here we'll also do camera character one here as well so we'll do character one and this time taking a character camera so copy that one over here and plug that one into cam character okay so they're the two outputs set up for the character and inventory back on your player menu ui widget uh, we've done the call tab changed on the inventory let's do it now for character so here's my character one call tab changed and type in character and we could do this for all four of them actually in this case whilst we're here so that'd be quest and where's the other one skills skill and there you go okay so now I'll do these tab changes so if I close this and push play we can see what this looks like when I hit enter go into our menu normally I've got this window here we'll get rid of that in a second go into inventory and it'll transition over to those cameras pretty neat eh so whilst we're here let's click on the other ones whilst and do these ones too so I'm going to go into my world here I'm going to add another camera to this and let's just so this one will be let's do skills so skills I'm going to have like this And then we're going to have another camera. Oh, let's, let's change the name of that first. So skill camera. And then we're going to do a fourth one. Should be for quests. And quest one will do. Do a far, far away one. Do one up here. And 
let's just change the name of that one to quest camera and we can go add these two cameras to our level blueprint for the menu so we're just going to have this one like so and this one for case two will be a uh, skill and this one will be quest skill go down there and we'll make sure we choose the skill camera add a reference to it plugging that in and then finally quest we'll do a quest camera Okay, and that's it. So now we've got all four of those tied together with the changing of the camera. So I hit play, let's get, click off the, uh, there you go. And hit enter to go into my menu and I can view the different cameras. You get this quite nice effect. So in the next episode, we're gonna add the inventory and we're gonna see an inventory grid appear here in this space on the left. Um, and yeah, so that's what we'll do next time. So join us at the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in me and this series and all my other videos. Thank you again so much. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be getting back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.